sure we're not going to pray for this country sitting down. We're going to pray for this country standing up. And it's very, very... Okay, now, there's one thing that I wonder. I, I, I appreciate what is going on here. I appreciate a lot of things that is happening here. I appreciate the fact that young people are here and we can hold blast in tongues and we can... And for a long time I've been telling people in church that if our faith can leave these four walls and come to the street, there will be a revolution. And I think it's high time for us to take these tongues outside. I saw the four walls called church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In Antioch, the disciples gathered in one place and the Spirit came upon them. And they spoke in tongues. And that was what caused the revolution to the rest of the world to today. And we can make it happen the same way. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. The Bible said in second in Acts chapter 2, verse 17, it said, And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Said, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. And the whole man shall dream dreams. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Before we pray, I want us to take a look at our the second standard of our national anthem. It said, O oh God of creation, direct our noble course. What's the next line? Wait, wait, don't rush. It said, What? Guide our leaders right. The next one is. Now, what is the truth that we've known right now? What is the truth that every young people know today? The Bible says that the truth will set you free. What truth do we know today? But I've got good news for you. The only truth we know today is what? Is Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to lift up our voice over this nation. The demography of this nation depicts to us that we have about 65 to 70% of young people. And we dominate every organization, every place, every area. And the only thing that is called Nigeria is people, not, not a place. If you leave this place to any other country, they look at you and say, this is a Nigeria. Praise the Lord. And it's not until you wear green, white, green before they say you are Nigerian. First they see you. Your identity shows that you are Nigerian. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to lift up our voice because the word, the word, of, the word of God that we just read said, say, your young men shall walk, we shall prophesy. Whatsoever that we want this country to be, I want to put the prayers in your hands to decree. Praise the Lord. Because whatever you decree, the Bible says that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Praise the Lord. The God that we serve is our Father. I will not tell you what to tell your Father. You know the right thing to tell your Father. Praise the Lord. I do this in church regularly and I say to them, once I give you knowledge of what to pray about, and I say to you, I will follow the routine. I will say, say Father, you say Father. And I will say, say in the name of Jesus. You say in the name of Jesus. They will begin to pray. So you begin to decree what you want this country to be for you. Praise the Lord. Are we ready? Are we ready? Say, Father, Father. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Now begin to pray. Begin to decree. Whatsoever you decree today, so shall it be. What you want this nation to be? What do you want this country to be for you? So shall it be. Begin to prophesy, begin to decree in the name of Jesus. I decree upon this nation that every legislative activity will bow to your authority. In the name of Jesus, I decree that every law 
Jesus. I decree. Oh, my God. 